first of all, Tom, happy birthday. Thank you very much, cheers. Tom, very uh, pleasing performance on Saturday and great to see you on the score sheet again. Yeah, the boys are excellent. I think first half especially, that's what we know we can do. Um, that was us at our best, sort of free-flowing. I mean, Stobbsy was creating all sorts of problems and how he's not walked away from an assist in that game, I don't know. So, um, yeah, he was brilliant. All the boys were out at the first half. Um, you know, because being up 5-0 half time, we allowed ourselves a situation where maybe we wasn't at our best second half, but we was, you know, quite comfortable in the game. Um, and obviously I know the gaffers, you know, talked a lot about being in the entertainment business and wanted us to go win the second half 5-0 as well. But, um, yeah, I think they'd sort of gone in sort of damage limitation mode, uh, which made it a bit more difficult. And um, we just kept the ball a little bit. It would be nice to get a couple more goals in the second half. But, um, yeah, overall, take the uh, take the 5-0. And, you know, like you say, you just want to be in the hat for the next round. So, to be honest, I'd have taken a 1-0 last minute. Morning, Giles. Last minute uh, winner and getting the hat, that would have been perfect. So, uh, but yeah, 5-0 was, uh, was a great result. When you first arrived at Playmore, you did express an interest in being a bit further forward. You felt that sometimes in, as a, you, you gained this reputation of being a, a holding defensive midfielder. But more and more in recent weeks, you've been getting forward in the attack and obviously getting some goals to boot. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I was, you know, I was at, <coughs> excuse me, Colchester for 10 years and got five goals, I think, the whole time I was there. And last year, I got five goals in one season. So, yeah, uh, definitely under the gaffer and Downsy, they've allowed me to uh, use my legs and get forward a bit more, which I've been enjoying. Um, yeah, and especially in recent weeks with, uh, you know, Brett playing a bit deeper and dictating the play. It's allowed me to get into the box a bit more and, like I say, a couple of goals in the FA Cup and, yeah, hopefully get a few few in the league. Um, yeah, so I'm enjoying it and, uh, yeah, I'll play anywhere if I have to go, you know, deeper or full back or, you know, wherever it may be, I'll do the job, I don't care. But, uh, yeah, at the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the role that I've got in the team. What do you remember about the goal on, on Saturday? Because initially, obviously, it looked like Lewis had, uh, had finished the job, but the uh, ball bounced up into there and he wanted it like a flash. Yeah. It was instinct, isn't Yeah, it? <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, yeah, just one out on the edge of the box. I mean, Stobbs, he was away and... Again, another thing, you know, Gaff always says sort of seize a moment and um, to be fair, you know, I'd nicked it off and uh, stopped he was in and it was sort of like a 2v1 and I got past my fella and made it sort of 3v1, 3v2. Um, to be honest, when Lou was running through, I thought he was going to score, but thankfully for me, he's taken out a massive divot out of the ground. Um, the keeper's got there and yeah, just got onto the rebound and just hit the target. I think it's gone through two, three people's legs and uh, found the back of the net. So yeah. Uh, more luck than judgment, I'd say, but you know, got rid of target to score, so yeah, I'll take it all day. Well, this question will probably be on repeat for the next fortnight now, but uh, obviously Maidstone to come on Saturday. Two games back to back, same opposition, different competitions, they're very important to treat each, uh, each match individually, isn't it? Yeah, quickly, the cakes are lovely, Krispy Kremes, boys should be buzzing. Um, yeah, definitely, yeah, we had a Barnet last year when we had a trophy in the league, so, and you know, it's two different results, we lost in the trophy and beat them in the league, so. Um, you know, we'll, we'll play the first game, you know, we'll do our prep anyway, but nothing like playing against them for the prep for the FA Cup. So, um, yeah, it's two different competitions, but we'll be uh, equally trying to win them both. Obviously, uh, no George, played with George Kobe, so he'll have his boys well drilled. He's a hard-working, honest fella. So, um, yeah, and you know what to expect from his teams. Um, so it's going to be a tough game. They'll be good. They'll, be, they'll work hard. He won't have anything else. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to Saturday, and we've just got to focus on one at a time. Um, ultimately, it's three points in the league at the moment, and then from Monday onwards, we'll be uh, thinking about the Cup. Two teams that uh, in Maidstone and Torquay that are very close match, both playing in the National League last season, both very close in the table, obviously going to be playing each other two weeks running, so it's it's the little um, little moments that will make a difference, and obviously that could be the Yellow Army on side. Oh, 100%, yeah, I mean, to be honest, when the, the, when the draw was coming up for the FA Cup, we were just thinking anyone at home, you know, anyone at home is the perfect draw, don't matter who it is, because they make such a difference to us, and um, yeah, especially with a good result, um, good performance on Saturday, you're hoping... There'll be a good crowd again Saturday, get right behind us like they have been. I think other than the Worthing game, we've been pretty pretty good at home. I think we've won every other game. So, um, yeah, the Yellow Army have been brilliant at home, as they have been away. No matter where we go, there seems to be a few hundred going everywhere. So, and, uh, they've been a credit to the club um, through all of last season and, and this season so far. So, yeah, hopefully they can get behind us again on Saturday. It's a little bit too early to call Playmore Fortress yet. I mean, it certainly makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I always, I always feel like it is. And I, I say, um, always feel like you've got an advantage at home. They're right behind us, and it's on us to, um, you know, start games well. And I think they just appreciate when they can see us putting in a shift and uh, and grafting. So, um, which you know we have been doing. So. When they see that, I feel like they get right behind us and it, it can be very intimidating for other teams. I think there's been a couple of managers saying that referees haven't dealt with the crowd that well when, you know, well that, that shows that how big they can be for us and 
not saying the referee got anything wrong in them games, I'm sure it was right, but um, the fact that they're in their head, they're thinking that, you know, that playing more has, has affected the game, that's, uh, that's good for us. Well, Tom, thank you for joining us, and best of luck on Saturday, and we'll leave you to go and try and recover some of those cakes. <laughs> thank you very much, cheers.